Sorry, peeps. No rooms. Wait, come closer. No, I mean seriously, come closer. Suppose I have an alternative. Would you be willing to make a deal? I could hook you up with a nice stable. Why the funny face? It's a bona fide offer. Besides, if push comes to so shove and the lady delivers tonight, I mean, it seems like we're looking at a full-term pregnancy here. Y'all can always use the manger as a baby cot. No extra charge supply. <laughs> so would you pay a hundred a night for the stable? Yes. Excellent! The stable is just by the hotel side. Enjoy your stay. Okay, we got a stable for the night. <coughs> we got a stable in a town where the tourists want to fight pregnant women. Let's see what this guy's got to say. Whole, this town is all ins, just about. Hey, little kid. For a thousand time tonight, no, we do not have any room to sell. Go we'll take a hike, whatever suits your fancy. <laughs> you think I'm rude? Have you ever worked hospitality? I'm doing a 16 hour shift tonight, because my colleague is sick. <laughs> yeah, sick of work, that is. Thank you very much for your concern, you patronizing two-bit, incomprehensible, passive-aggressive mumbling. <laughs> Help a poor kid, buy a battle axe, it sells for 10,000 gold. Dude, where do you think fucking peasants would get 10,000 gold, jerk? The ultimate weapon for the modern warrior with deep pockets. <laughs> well, we're not the modern warrior, and we don't have deep pockets, so I'm not going to buy that one. Alright. <clears throat> Let's go find ourselves a manger. Well, this guy wants to talk. Let's see what he's got to say. He's probably going to fight us. I used to live here, so I guess I can book a hotel room ahead of you hillbillies from Nazareth. <laughs> oh, then he wants to fight us! First he insults you, then he wants to fight you! Okay, let's do it. Fight. Attack. Tour. So I gotta sneeze one. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. I didn't hit my mute button. I tried to. Okay, she's gonna. So what angels can she call now? Oops. Okay, she got Uriel now. Okay, the Uriel regains AP. So let's use Uriel. Oh, I forgot it. Oh, that's MP. Angels use MP apparently. And angels who take care of an ally south. Okay, so we can't do none of this. So let's just fight him. <laughs> Joseph, number 97, very slapped him for eight, and the tourist has gone to hell. <laughs> Bread and wine was found. Joseph is now level four. Virgin Mary is now level four and knows Ramiel, so now she knows another angel. So every time she levels up, she's learning an angel. So you're from Bethlehem as well, huh? I'm terribly sorry, fellows. You know, we could probably, if we actually wanted to, I'm not going to, but we could stay here and like level up to get 10,000 gold really quick to get that battle axe. But I really don't really see the need for it. So let's just go to uh, the stable. Yep, the manger. He's got it open now. <clears throat> Mary's gonna push one out. The first. She's gonna have a little baby Jesus. Oh, here we go. Yes, she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. Oh, AP is angel points. Thank you. That makes sense. Angel points. I thought it was ability power, but angel points makes more sense. <laughs> Suddenly, a vast heavenly army appeared with the angel praising the god and saying... Go ahead, say something. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among people with whom he is pleased. Don't detect Mary and Joseph or you'll go to hell. Meanwhile, in the Far East, after spotting an auspicious star, the three wise kings decided to travel to, Ju to Judea. I'm feeling so holy right now. Look, they look like gnomes! Look at them! <laughs> they look like little gnomes! <laughs> oh, I'm them! I'm them! I'm the three wise men! <laughs> Let's see. Yep, they all got skills and all of a sudden. The wise men are gonna be like fucking ninjas. They're gonna fight. Let's check out their skills. Oh, they're magic users! The magi! They got no magic yet because they're only level one. Okay, um. That's it, right? Nothing else I can really do. Oh, okay, wait, wait. We'll look at all three of them really fast. This is Balthazar. Hailing from Arabia, he feels the need to worship the newly born savior. I'm basing this on a star that they saw in the sky, by the way, just so you guys know. They saw a star and said that must be, you know, the savior. This is Melikor. 
Melchior, 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 the Persian king knows that he must fall to his knees in contemplation of this baby king. Okay. Gaspar, guided by a star, an Indian king who is certain the much prophesied Messiah was born in Judea. Well, since he's Indian, I'm going to put him up front because he's going to be smart, so he's going to lead the way. And I can use some cool accents. We're going this way, we're going to go see the savior. Everybody follow me, in a line. Okay, hello, hello, hey, talk to me. You might be asking, how can one manipulate magic? Simple. You receive magic from a legendary weapon, and then you can evoke its extraneous powers. <clears throat> but behold, beings of flesh are resistant to magic. Immaterial beings, however. So weapons will destroy angels and demons, but don't do much to humans. I wish I was a magic like you guys, then I would be able to use magic. Well, I don't want to bore you with hematology and stuff. Where do you think the word magic comes from? Etymology. Is it etymology the study of bugs or something? I would like to take this spear off the wall now. Can I have the spear, please? We do not let me have it. No, I wanted the spear or the battle axe! <laughs> hey, here's a couple here. I don't know if I should be talking to these guys or leaving, but I'm gonna talk to them. Hello! Here we follow Azura Mazda and his prophet Zathrasht in their endless battle against the evil one, Aramid. Okay? We the followers of Zathrasht and Azura Mazda believe that Sasha Shadid, or Savior, will arise. But it won't be a baby in Judea for sure, so quit your silly antics. No, you are wrong! We saw a star and we are going to Judea! We will find the Savior! Okay, so what does it say? Miraculous Spring heals and revives everyone. I would like to drink, please. Oh, yes, everyone's feeling better. I see a weapons expert over there. We're gonna talk to him in a second. Boy! Who left all these sacks blocking the way? Now no one can go to the upper floor. By the way, be careful in approaching bridges, my friends. They are haunted. Oh, nice. That's always nice to know. Bridges are haunted. <laughs> I really wanted to move, move abroad. But if you don't speak another language, how will you settle anywhere? Let's see if we can talk to this book. Nope. Can't talk to the book. Now, here we go. Weapons. That's what we wanted. It's a long road out there. Buy something. Okay, fish, bread, water, wine, egg. Battle hammer. It'll help them all. Battle saw will help them all more. Battle axe will help them all a lot more. Hey, their battle axe is only 100 instead of 10,000. Look at that. See the difference? Oh, and the claw. Look at the claw. Magical claws that will bring Aladdin and his genie. Okay, to be honest... The axe is better. But come on! Aladdin and his genie? Fuck yeah, we're gonna buy that. Oh, not 11, no, just 3. Or should I... Well, that means that they're gonna do less damage to humans, but more damage to... Whatever that you need to call Aladdin and his genie, but I don't care. That's fine. I don't really need to think that much about this. And they're using the gold that Mary and Joseph had. So I guess... Hold on a second. So let's talk to him again. And it's gonna buy a battle axe for Joseph. Because see, if the money carries over, the inventory probably carries over too. So we'll buy this for Joseph. So next time we're Joseph, we can change it. We paid 100 instead of 10,000. See? That's smart. I'm using my noggin. Okay, let's equip these guys. Can he do a wield also? Oh, they can dual wield also! Look at that shit! So let's give them both so they can, uh... Ah, oh, so now I gotta buy... I gotta buy a bunch more stuff. I gotta buy two more battle axes, right? So that's for the other two, and then one for Joseph. And then... And then Aladdin's Claw for Joseph. I think I should probably buy another battle axe just in case Mary wants a battle axe. And a claw, just in case Mary wants a claw. We can get more gold as we fight, it's not a big deal. Alright, so let's equip these guys. Yeah, battle claw, battle axe. And Balthazar needs a battle claw and a battle axe. Alright, we're good to go now. We haven't found a. a 
equipment vendor yet, but that's okay. So the three wise men, they can use magic, and they're dual wielding a claw and a battle axe. <laughs> the holiest of the holy. Alright, let's go on our, on our journey pilgrimage. Oh, we do get attacked in the open land. A desert thief emerged. Fight. Okay, so he knows Aladdin. We gotta see what Aladdin does. We'll randomly attack two enemies. He's gonna regular attack. He's gonna regular attack. Gaspar summons a genie. Oh, so it only did a one damage, so it was better just to attack a normal attack. Found water and an egg. Gaspar's now level 3, Malakor's level 3, Balthazar's level 3. They don't learn any magic, though. We're just gonna right straight regular fight these thieves that are attacking us. Ooh, Gaspar! Gaspar just sent him to hell. Okay, level 4, level 4, level 4. Good. My friends, it is very hot in the desert! Oh no! Whoa, a desert robber! Look at him! What the fuck is he? That's a desert robber? I guess you're kind of set in your job for life if you look like that. You can't really go into town and say, I'm a priest or I'm a baker. If you look like that, you're a desert robber. Let's fight. Boom! Gaspar just sent him to hell. No, no level up. I don't know what to do on this water, the word stream is right here. Desert Thief. Boom, 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 boom. The other guys don't even get the fight. Gaspar's such a badass, you're just dead. Fish, water, and egg. Level 5. Level 5 and level 5. We're leveling on up. I'm really not sure where to go. Oh, that's all closed off. But look, it's all... I was going to say it's all forced in the desert. Oh no, you want to mess with us? Boom! Go to hell! Yes! Okay, so let's cross the bridge. It's unthinkable that you might wander into a foreign country to worship some baby messiah. For that crime, you shall be put to death. <laughs> How dare you want to go freaking worship a baby in another land? You must die! Thus spoke Zarathustra. Okay, that's a demon. The ghost of the ancient prophet Zarathustra. Zar... Uh, first, uh, whatever. Okay, he wants to fight, but we got magic weapons, so we're okay. So let's see, we're gonna, we're gonna fight him with him. We're gonna use magic, nope. Magic on him, we're gonna use Aladdin. We're gonna use magic Aladdin again, so I think magic Aladdin should be good. Oh yeah, look it! Okay, either one does a lot, but she's just beating a lot of them. Oh! Oh no! He killed Balthazar! And it said Balthazar went to heaven! Get him, Aladdin! Get him! Alright, we hit him, we hit him. Yes! No! No, we sell Malacor to, to heaven! No, what do we do? Fight! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! He took no damage. No, he killed Gaspar! No! They've all died! The three wise men are dead. There will be no worshipping baby Jesus. Game over! <laughs> <laughs> ah, the king found baby Jesus and said, you will not be the Messiah. I will kill you. <laughs> oh my god, that is that was great. That was that was awesome. I, I'm, I'm laughing a lot. Um, oh, people are talking in chat. Sorry, I wasn't even paying attention. This is so fun. <laughs> what did they say? Um... You look a lot like Jesus. Oh, nobody's talking. I thought people were talking. My bad. <laughs> okay, so let's go do another one. Um, I, I want to try and live and not die. <laughs> the first demon killed me, so I guess that means this is a game where you're supposed to grind. Because uh, I got killed. What's happening now? There we go. Okay, we're going to continue, and this time we're going to live. Oh, remember I saved it with Mary and Joseph? That's thankfully, because that was, uh, well, not too far away. Okay, so does that mean that they have no more weapons?